Welcome to the ICT User in Education course. I'm Per Guan, a senior manager at iPortfolio, the global ad tech company specialized in digital textbook platform for English language learning and teaching. I'm honored and pleased to share my experience and knowledge regarding ICT in education sector in Korea, and particularly English education. In this part, we'll begin by examining Korean ICT infrastructure and policies in education, then the domestic e-learning market and its characteristics, to finally focus on English education with the examples of iPortfolio. First, how is the infrastructure? The number of students per computer in primary school is 6.0. It means that six students have to share one computer with one another. It goes similar to secondary school, and high school students have the highest accessibility, 4.4. Meanwhile, one teacher can access more or less 1.5 computers across all types of schools. Does this mean that Korea has an advanced ICT environment? Look at this data from OECD. The conclusion is that the status of infrastructure in education in Korea, comparing to other OECD countries, seems to be moderate. Also, Korea is one of the top tiers in terms of ICT access and uses by household. So I can say that overall infrastructure of ICT in education Korea is in a good condition. Let's briefly overview the major ICT policies in education in Korea. Korean government puts great importance on a digital textbook project. In the traditional format of textbooks, often knowledge is presented in cramming style due to the limitation of pages. Therefore, the information had to be compressed. So the major problem of a traditional textbook is low student interest and motivation. However, digital textbooks are considered to be a tool that can overcome the limitation of printed textbooks. Since 2018, after going through some preparation stages, all the students in Korea could access digital textbooks. So far, 117 digital textbooks were distributed, and the government plans to expand its number. Adoption of digital textbooks has brought the following changes. The first change is the development of immersive digital textbooks and enhancement of user platforms. Stand technologies such as EPUB3, HTML5 are supported by Windows, Android, and iOS operating systems, and it enhances user platforms, and it drove the development of immersive digital contents that actually enabled students to indirectly experience things that used to be difficult to observe or experience. Secondly, it increased the teacher's competencies and changed the classroom instructions. With digital textbooks, teachers can apply different types of instructions and learning activities, such as discussion and project-based activities. Lastly, increasing students' competencies has followed after for sure. The graph shows this improvement. Many teachers testify that digital textbooks stimulated students' interests and improved the students' competencies, such as collaboration skills and self-directed learning skills. Another major educational policy of the Korean government is establishment of ICT-based personalized learning services. It aims for creation of open markets for education. Personalized learning support system consists of mainly two parts. One is for creating and managing learning contents, and the other part is learning analysis. Developing massive volume of content should accompany registering metadata, classification of information, and quality control, and etc. To do so, open API, big data, learning analysis engine can be utilized for providing personalized learning analysis. In this cycle, free and high quality educational contents can be provided based on personal learning data analysis, and their learning activities continue to be accumulated so that individually customized education can become more precise. Korean government is seeking for the solution to build this type of educational ecosystem. 
Now, let's look at the e-learning market in Korea. The number of e-learning businesses has increased continuously. E-learning service takes the most part of the industry. E-learning market turnover in 2018 was approximately $3.8 billion. Also, investment in e-learning business is brisk. In 2018, average 50% of e-learning business have answered they received in investment. In terms of manpower in e-learning, except 2016, it has been increasing continuously. However, still many companies cite difficulties in manpower shortage. The ratio has been decreasing, but still 22.6% of e-learning business has difficulties to find proper manpower. The size of the domestic market demanded for e-learning totaled approximately $3.7 billion. E-learning demand is mainly driven by individuals and the business sector follows after. Now let's look into more detail of English education state in Korea. Total spending on English education takes the largest portion in the total spending on private education in Korea. Everyone hopes to enhance their English skills, but the reality is a bit frustrating. The average score of TOEIC ranks 17th among 47 countries, and in terms of English proficiency, Korea ranks very low even among the Asian countries. However, starting from early 2000, there has been a loud call for self-examination about inefficiency of traditional ways of English learning. So nowadays in the market, there are diverse types of technology-applied learning methods. Among them, I would like to share with you more about e-library services, which is iPortfolio's core technology. iPortfolio developed a sophisticated digital textbook solution called Spindle Books in 2011. Spindle Books has been adopted by several global education companies and publishers such as Oxford University Press. Spindle Books supports all sorts of operating systems since it is used by 2 million teachers and students in over 90 countries around the globe. Spindle Books should be suitable for all kinds of classroom settings. Spindle Books has its own authoring tool, so digital publishing work can be done in-house. Also, we can respond to the client's request promptly while digitizing print books. We also collect massive volume of user learning data and provide individual progress reports. So in this session, we've overviewed ICT infrastructure in Korea, government ICT policy in education, and domestic e-learning market status. Thank you and see you next time.